As the temperature cools and leaves change color, millions of Canadians await their November Canada Pension Plan CP and Old Age Security OAS retirement benefits, which are a lifeline. Money safety net many Canadian seniors depend on receiving their money on time, yet payment dates change with the seasons. It's important for elders to know the latest dates. OAS and CPP contributions support rent, groceries, and health care in their monthly budget. These payouts are carefully calculated and distributed by the Canadian government to qualifying seniors. Seniors may struggle to keep up with government and financial changes, especially if they need support to live freely and with dignity. Thus it. Canadian seniors must be informed of the amended dates for the November OAS and CPP dispersals to prepare financially and avoid pension surprises. Any changes that affect their monthly income around November's end, OAS and CPP payments arrive, giving seniors ample money for the holidays. However, scheduling changed this year. Updated for this year's conditions, seniors should evaluate to ensure their benefits are processed quickly and on time. An important November revision. OAS distribution dates are updated in the payment schedule. This strategy ensures seniors receive OAS benefits on time. This year, November's payment will be on the 23rd instead of the 25th. Since November 25th is a Saturday this year, the CPP payment schedule has been adjusted to match the OS changes. November payments will be made on the 24th instead of the 25th. The government organized this initiative. Canada takes pension payout security seriously. Seniors should save these amended dates in their calendars and check their bank or direct deposit statements on the dates. Seniors should stay aware and take proactive steps to reduce pension payment uncertainty. Seniors should also be aware of additional updates outside the November OAs and CPP dispersals. The Canadian government is also improving the pension system to help seniors age in place with dignity. One of the biggest pension reforms in recent years was the Guaranteed Income Supplement GIs. Financial aid for low-income seniors to guarantee all Canadian seniors receive the resources they need to live comfortably. The GIs covers living expenses above basic OAS and CPP income. Take care of their basics. The GS has impacted seniors' lives and shows the Canadian government's commitment to helping them. By providing a constant stream of supplementary income, the GIs has helped many retirees decrease their financial load and uncertainties, allowing them to completely enjoy their golden years meet, but the Canadian government helps seniors in other ways. The Canada Caregivers Credit is one of several new programs and efforts to secure senior care in recent years. A tax credit that covers the costs of caring for a disabled spouse, common law partner, or family member. This benefit is helpful for older persons who depend on their families for financial support. Assistance with daily tasks, the disability tax credit, is another important initiative that helps seniors reduce disability-related costs. This credit benefits many seniors and can improve their finances. Enough money, the Canadian government has also funded affordable housing, home care, and create community-based programs that encourage elders to live an active and engaged lifestyle, such as New Horizons for Elders, which donates money to initiatives that encourage seniors to maintain meaningful relationships with their neighbors and participate in meaningful activities. This program has supported various social initiatives that combat isolation and educational courses that teach elders new skills and hobbies, demonstrating the Canadian government's commitment to helping its aging population through resources and services that allow seniors to live with dignity and independence. The government is promoting inclusivity, compassion, and social responsibility to create a more fair and sustainable society. The government's efforts are commendable, but more must be done. Increasing living costs, limited health care access, and social services still plague many Canadian seniors. Products and services the government and community must prioritize elders' needs and work together to find innovative solutions to these significant issues. The government may support the elderly by ensuring that. The government can reduce seniors' anxiety about OAAs and CPP payments by updating and clarifying them. Their pension benefits to help more seniors get financial aid, the government can increase money to widen the qualifying standards for programs like the GIs and Disability Tax Credit. The greater community may promote policy level reforms including simplifying the application process, giving seniors more resources, and helping them navigate the complex government benefits system. 
aging Canadians community support programs may be needed. The success of Canada's volunteer-driven social events and outreach activities to connect lonely seniors with resources and services. If Canada wants to satisfy the demands of its aging population and allow all seniors to age in place with dignity, the government, community groups and private persons must work together. Independence. Canadian seniors must stay educated and take aggressive steps to ensure they receive their OAs and CPP payments before November. Understanding the modified schedules and claiming benefits are part of this. Their advantage is promptly, it is not just a matter of legislation, it signals a societal trend toward addressing seniors' needs so they can enjoy retirement and the fall season without financial worries. Canada's social safety net, which encompasses social assistance, universal health care, and vulnerable groups, includes elder support. Our nation has long cherished these ideas. However, by providing the Guaranteed Income Supplement, Disability Tax Credit, and New Horizons for Elders, the government is showing that it prioritizes elderly safety and well-being. Removed from this commitment to helping seniors cope with aging in addition to financial concerns, the government is expanding affordable housing, home care services, and community participation. Programs demonstrate comprehensive elder care that addresses this demographic's unique needs. These efforts have helped many Canadian seniors live independently by providing resources and support independence, community involvement, and a dignified and meaningful golden years are possible, but more work is needed. The government must address the growing number of elders and their complex issues. Be aware and adaptable, always looking for methods to improve the current support systems, which will require long-term financial commitment, new regulations, and a deep understanding of Canadian elders' evolving needs and perspectives. To ensure OAAs and CPP payment schedules, the government must listen to them, implement their proposals, and work closely with their champions, advocacy groups, and community organizations. And the entire spectrum of senior services continue to adapt to the changing needs of this significant and revered group in Canada. How a society treats its seniors reveals its priorities and ideals. Canada's government is honoring its founding principles by prioritizing the needs of its elders through programs like the Old Age Security OAS and the Canada Pension Plan CPP payment in November. Dates are approaching fast. It's important to remember that all Canadian seniors don't have the support and resources they need to thrive, but with the government's commitment and the community's efforts, we can get there. Canada's government is committed to helping seniors, and it can be done. We will give seniors independence, dignity, and peace of mind throughout their golden years. Canada's substantial OAS and CPP payment schedules and many aid programs demonstrate its dedication to inclusiveness, compassion, and social responsibility. Canada is working hard to provide all seniors with the services and assistance they need to age gracefully and independently. Canadian seniors can maximize these unique resources and enjoy their golden years by staying informed and participating.